So there is a rhubarb. Isn't that neat? again you lovely ladies and handsome gents to talk to the hand reviews I'm both reviews lady and I want to thank you very much for coming to see me again and today I'm doing I'm doing a recap not a recap but this is like um, uh, part two uh, like summer summer edition of what if my garden was a perfume <laughs> and uh, so I just went out I I did one uh, like a few weeks back, which featured um, my Lily of the Valley mint and um, I forget what else I featured, but I thought it'd be, but I thought it would be cool to see uh, like what's growing in my yard and then go to Fragrantica and look that up uh, in their database and see what fragrances might might my garden smell like if, if it were if they were a fragrance you know so when i started typing things in like i have a lot of cool things but it seems like i would only type in like two two items and then it would come back after two items like i'd put in a third item and then be like oh you came up with some some good ingredients but so far no one's made a perfume like that so i i realized i had to stop uh I, I went and tried to find ones where there was three of the items in my garden so i'm sorry i know i'm making it more confusing than it needs to be but uh, i did want to share with you what i did um i did find actually that there were three fragrances that had some of the ingredients in my garden. And I thought, well, you know, it's not a whole lot. I didn't really find uh, something that has all the ingredients in my garden, but I thought this was kind of interesting. And since it was an idea I had, I thought I would just see it through. So without further um, waiting around, um, I'm going to go over the first of the three fragrances that I discovered. So I've separated behind me here. I've got rose. Rose. So I don't have my damask roses, but I have those other roses and I have these roses, which do smell really pretty. So. I always try to not bring any bugs, not get any bugs, because it's their home. I don't want to take away their home. Look at rhubarb. So that's the real barb in there. That's the rhubarb down in there. It's usually more upright, but we let the roses grow bigger around it. So I'm just gonna grab one of those. I think maybe this one right here. And this thing is all you need to do is to pull them out. supposed to eat any of it up here it's poisonous 
It's only the red part in the middle that you're allowed to eat. And so we're gonna take all this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna deliver these little snails somewhere else where they'll be happy, probably on another, another leaf, but that's a rhubarb. So we will process it and bring it in. And yarrow. Okay, so here we are now. We've got some wild yarrow growing in here. I don't know, it might not be wild. It might've been planted from the previous person who lived here. But we're gonna grab one of these yarrows. one yarrow. I just want to grab a small one because I don't have a lot and uh, I don't like to steal from the garden if I don't have to. Yarrow! That's good. That's the cut up rhubarb. Um, you'll see the video, you saw the video where I went out and picked a rhubarb and so this my husband cut it all up so we could see it. It's very it smells really tart, but it's really cool. Like you can do a lot of fun things with it. I uh, I make rhubarb applesauce. Of course, there's no apple in it, but it it you can make something that tastes just like like very similar to applesauce, and it's kind of a fun, you know, different take on applesauce. And yarrow. You saw me pick outside as well. So I found there was one fragrance that had rose, rhubarb, and yarrow in it. Uh, and it's called A Tribute to Edith Parcher by Parcher for Women. The top notes are rhubarb, geranium, and whiskey. Ooh, I love it when they put alcohol in fragrances. I don't know, I just think it's a nice, I don't know, something about it gives it a, a deeper mm, something uh, and then the, the, the mid notes are rose yarrow and divana the base notes are patchouli sandalwood and benzoin so I realize that that's more than uh, than I have in my garden here but I thought you know what the heck rose rhubarb and yarrow Edith Parcher a tribute to Edith Parcher by Parcher for women uh, oh yeah, and there was one fragrance on there that they said people thought it smelled like Icon Intense by Police. So, kind of interesting. Rose, rhubarb, and yarrow. Moving on. Okay, moving on to the next one. I discovered a fragrance called uh, Mock Orange by Savor, and it's a shared fragrance. That's S-A-V-O-U-R, Mock Orange by Savor. Um, and it contains mock orange. This is one of my mock orange shrubs, trees. It, it did pretty well this year and it smells amazing. I'm going to get some off of this. My mock orange, you saw me pick it out there. Oh, this is so amazing. It smells like oranges. It smells like orange blossoms, which are incredible. But Mock or uh, sorry, orange blossoms uh, tend to be these little, small little blossoms. I don't have any orange trees, but man, this smells so good, and it really like fragrances up the whole yard while it's here. And I just got the end of it; they're just about done now. So, uh, mock orange. As I said, I don't have Siberian pine, but I do have white northern white pine. This is called, and it's a long needled pine, similar to the Siberian pine looks like. So. I thought, well, okay, I'll choose it. Uh, it counts, right? one perfume it said it contains Siberian pine I don't have Siberian pine but I have a long needle white pine so which looks like Siberian pine so I'm gonna take one of these Okay, 
Okay, so we got a few things already. We got our rhubarb and a bunch of other stuff. I'm gonna go see if I can get some wild strawberries. In the past, we've had a lot of wild strawberries. So here we go. Strawberries. And the strawberries are these teeny tiny little things. They're nothing like the grocery store strawberries. They're tiny. Well, my husband saw that we do have a few wild strawberries right now. Down in there, see this little white thing? That is an alpine strawberry. Isn't that cute? It tastes so good. It tastes kind of like candy. So that's the only one that we have. So I think maybe I'm not going to pick it, but I want to prove to you that I indeed have wild strawberries in my garden. <laughs> and you saw my my uh, my wild alpine strawberry in the yard that uh, I didn't pick because it was only we only found really a couple and so I just left that one but I just wanted to prove to you that I do indeed have wild strawberries in the yard so a fragrance contains wild strawberry mock orange and pine Siberian pine is called um, mock orange by Saber from 2022 so yeah so Oh yeah, and what's in it is it's all one level. Um, Siberian pine, melon, jasmine, mock orange, cedar, and wild strawberry. So three of the, so half of the ingredients. So, and the third and final one, I used lupins, which I have a lot of in the yard, but it's the end of the season, so I could only really find one, one good one I was willing to take. So, my yard has a lot of lupins. These guys here. But their season is over. So usually there's a lot. And so since I waited so late, they're kind of all gone now. They do this kind of thing. And then in, in the late, late summer, early fall, they, they um, when the, the sun is really hot, they all dry up and they pop. You can hear them sometimes popping open with the seeds inside.
guys. See, usually they grow like that with the one main and then two on the side that come later on. I think I'm gonna take this one here. Oh, little guy. Thank you, friend. Usually these just smell like pepper. So I can see how it would be a base note. Some of them smell pretty, like grapes or something. But this guy just smells like pepper. So now we got our one lupin. Yay! That's, and that's this guy here. And then another variety of rose from my yard. These are not the roses that I have that smell really great. Those are over there. Uh, but they they bloom a lot, like the, the damask roses, they bloom a lot and then they stop blooming uh, for a little bit, like, and they only bloom a few at a time after that. So I'm just, just for the look, I'm going to grab one of these roses. Lupins and roses um, are contained in a fragrance called Lupin and Patchouli by Jo Malone London. And so that's all one level of ingredients. Uh, lupin, patchouli, rose, and mandarin orange. Lupin, patchouli, rose, and mandarin orange. So you know what? Except for the patchouli, considering that my mock orange, considering that I do have mock orange and mock orange smells, uh, you know, a lot like any kind of orange, I actually think, you know what? You could get an idea of what that smells like if you just added some patchouli to it. I've got two of the actual ingredients that are in there, but also mock orange. So, you know, probably getting a good idea from that. And is that, I don't know if that's a gender neutral fragrance or not. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't write that down. But anyhow, so there it is. If my garden was a perfume, edition two. So I thought, you know, so that's three fragrances out of the stuff in my garden. Thank you for joining me again for If My Garden Was a Perfume, episode two. And maybe I'll have more. We'll see what else comes up. But I think a lot of the things that, that bloom no, that's not true. There's definitely going to be more stuff. So maybe I'll have another one of these. But if you like this kind of stuff, I know that it's a little bit unusual. Please go ahead and give me a like. Please subscribe if it's interesting to you at all. And I hope to see you next time. Come on now. Don't forget to move around. Don't forget to run up and down. <laughs> okay. See you next time. Bye.